Hi there, everybody. It's Mr. Edwards from the Wolverhampton Music Service bringing you ukulele lesson number four. And in this lesson, we're going to start exploring using chords. Now, a chord is very simply three or more notes played simultaneously. You play them together, you get a nice, rich, thick, textured sound that's perfect for putting vocals on the top or melodies from other instruments. For instance, here's a couple of chords. Here's a chord of uh, C. If I play the open strings, listen. I add that finger, I get a lovely sound out of chord of F. And when we put a set of chords together, one after the another, we get what we call a chord sequence. Makes a lovely sound. So we're going to learn one chord today, and it's the chord of F. But before we do that, we've got to remember how we play with our fingers to get the actual notes to sound. In this case, we need to use the flying thumbs because we want to hit loads of strings at once to make a chord. If you did it with fixed thumbs, you only get one string. So we need to use flying thumbs. Now, if you remember back to the first lesson, we used the exercise one, two, three, hush. One, two, three, hush. And we did it four times. We're going to do it at a moderate tempo. Remember the interrelated dimensions of music? That's what we mean about the building blocks of music, the tempo, the speed, the sound, the dynamics, etc. So we're going to go at a moderate tempo. And for the dynamics, we're going to do a crescendo, gradually getting louder. Now with this, I want you to try and be very subtle here and make sure that every single strum is slightly louder than the one before. So you don't do like three quiet ones, then three louder ones, then three louder ones. I want it to be a gradual, almost like if you were drawing a graph, a line, it would go up like that smoothly. Let's try it four times, gradually getting louder as a crescendo. One, two, three, four. Two, three. to play a chord we need now to use our fingers now on our left hand obviously you've got your thumb and four fingers if you were playing the keyboard you would label them one two three four five but because we don't use the thumb because that's tucked behind the neck of the instrument we only use one two three and four so we label them differently so first finger second third fourth copy me ready first second third, four, more difficult, first, third, second, fourth, first, fourth, second, third, okay, you can try that one on the folks at home, see how they get on, first, third, because it's quite tricky that one, now, we also need to know where to put those fingers, now, on the uke, we've got the neck of the instrument, which is divided into boxes and each of these boxes is called a fret so if I'm talking about the first fret I mean the first box the second fret is the second box the third fret is the third box and so on now for this chord we're going to play an F chord because the bottom note the bass note of the chord the fundamental note on which the chord is built is an F and we're going to use our first finger. So hold up your first finger now. So first finger, and we're going to use the first fret. So the first box. Now I'm going to be a little bit awkward now because I don't want you to play the string nearest the floor. String number one. I want you to put that first finger on string number two. So it's the first finger in the first fret, the first box but on just on string number two. Rest of the fingers, nothing. Rest of the strings, nothing. First finger, second string in the first fret. Let's try that one more time. So you copy me, first finger, first fret, first box, second string, and press on. And then when you strum it, get a lovely sound. If I take that finger off, you can hear the difference. Now with it on. So you get this nice F chord. Now that finger needs to press on quite a lot. 
going to show you on the video, there it is, second string, first box. And you have to press on quite hard to make it sound. If you don't press on hard enough, when you play it, it's got a horrible sound. You really need to press on. And when you press on, you will see how hard you need to press on when you look at my finger. Look at that. You can see it's made a dent in it. So it needs to press on quite a lot. Now, when you've been playing the ukulele or instruments for a long time, the skin on your fingers becomes quite hard and it doesn't hurt at all. While you're learning, it can be a bit soft. So if it starts to hurt, just stop, have a break for a bit. Okay, so first finger, first fret, second string. Let's do eight of them in a row. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Do four of them. One, two, three, four. Stop. Let's do two of them. One, two, three, four. And now let's do one of them. One, two, three, four. Now, how do you learn to play chords? If you've got your finger on and you just leave it there for the next 20 minutes, you're not going to remember it. So the way that you learn it is simply take it off, Put it back on, look at it, check it. And don't forget, use the idea. First fret, second string, play it. Take it off, first finger, second string, first fret, play it. So you do literally off, on, on and off. Just a few times until you think, yeah, I remember that. But always remember, it's the chord of F. I'm great because I always play chords and I think, what was that chord? I forgot what it's called, right? So always think F chord, first finger, first fret, second string, F chord. And you do it again and again and again, you learn it like that. Now, we're gonna learn a song to go with it today. Are you ready? So, first finger, first fret, second string, strum along, and then while we're strumming, I'm going to sing you this song and I want you to sing it back to me one line at a time. You ready? Join in and listen. Frere Jacques. Frere Jacques. Dormez-vous. copy back the melody by singing yourselves but you're playing as well now you've all turned into Ed Sheeran because you're singing and playing at the same time lots of people get really hung up and think oh that's really difficult it isn't it's easy isn't it let's put that finger back this time I'm only going to sing each line once so you sing it back with me I'll sort of mouth it the second time so because we don't need to go on forever all right are you ready so finger on first finger First fret, second string, one, two, three, go. Frere Jacques, Dormez-vous, Sonne le matine, Ding dang dong, Ding dang dong. Remember, listen to it. If it sounds a bit dodgy because the finger's not pressing on, put it right. Make sure that finger's in the middle of the fret. If you get it too close to the edges, it will stop it from sounding. Right, more verses, loads more verses. So I'm going to go through all these verses in one go because I don't want to stop and do it because otherwise we'll run out of time. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Frere Jacques. Oh, 
why we do that silly gesture. It's a bit like a Superman flying gesture. But we always finish with that. Well, that's it for today, for this lesson. Why don't you have a go at that on your own? Have a little look. Now, I have to say a big thank you because there's a wonderful website called Ukulele Rocks, which is where we get a lot of the materials and they very, very kindly allowed us to use their songs and their presentations like Frere Jacka, One, Two, Three, Hush and things. So when we roll the end credits at the moment, watch out because it will tell you where to go and look at their website. They've got loads of extra songs and resources, lots of online lessons and things and tutorials that will be great use to you. So if you're really enjoying it, have a look there and I'll see you next time.